Okay, guys, Spatula Games coming back at you with some Red Dead Redemption 1. Um, not exactly sure where we are here. I know there's a Bonnie mission. Hello there. Well, that sounded serious. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit notifications, and we're going to continue on with Red Dead Redemption 1. Uh, how do I find out what time it is? Looks like nighttime. Wait. Uh. Actually, I think it's six in the morning. Uh, what I'd really like to do. Is find some money. Somehow. Do I have any money? Nope. Zero. All right. The dealio here. We're going to race Bonnie, I have a feeling. Oh, Mr. Marston. A little foreshadowing. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarlane. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, <laughs> why not, if you don't mind me asking? I don't mind. I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. Sassy. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. All right, here we go. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Different from other parts? Come on, boys. Let's go. All right. See if we can beat Bonnie. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! What are you doing back there? Would you like me to slow oh. down? Oh no! Nope! Yeah! You still think you're gonna win this, don't Dude. you? Dude! Up. 
Are you saving the best for last? Come on. Come on. Oops. You're starting to regret your brave words, Mr. McFarland! Let's go! <laughs> First try. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I will. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarlane. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Got some fame out of that one. All right, so the marshal's on the map now. Political realities in Armadillo. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> <laughs> Shut up, you. Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. Come <laughs> William, you getting kicked with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. That's Don't right. Me. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. That's oh, right. Hardy fucking whore. Dickhead. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. So? Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. Okay. The world has problems, mister, and I'm here. Doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? 
I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle like out near Box Canyon needs shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. OK, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only That's right. Matter. Come on, then, Marston. Follow me. Well, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Hello there. Nice to see you, partner. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walton. Goddamn road agents who the Walton the gang. coming in and out of town. Drivers in Armadillo spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. Yes, it is. There's a Walton guy. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Mount up, Marston. Walton's our man. All right. Damn, he's seen it. Come on, don't lose him. I got a horse yet. I'm getting after him. Catch me up. Oh. Come on. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Right. Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. How long is right. easy money for easy work? Jola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Gonna learn how to shoot here, I assume. And take cover. Looks like we got company, boys. <laughs> Damn. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. Hey, yeah, you over here. Move up to that wagon on your right. I'll cover you. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. There's one behind the crate. Take him down. Okay. Now move up to that crate. I'll cover you. Stay close. Take that feller behind the rock, boy. Yeah. Okay. Now get to that rock. To fall. Over face. lower cover, move LS towards the cover and press Hell fire. You got something in the thing of your Nope, nope. Get the hell out of here! Look out! There's one behind the outhouse! Take cover behind the outhouse! Careful, there may right. be more of them! You couldn't hit a fool's ass with a back full of banjos. You boys just ain't that tough. OK. 
Okay. It's gonna take more than one of you, partner. Guess Walton left now. Try Shoot him, him in the alive. legs. <laughs> sort of in the leg. Do I have a lasso? Walden, your killing days are over. It'll be trial and the rope for you. Okay. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Well, yeah. time to do some looting. Twenty dollars. Anything in here? There's a chest. Thirty six. All right. Okay, one more looks like. And what in the world is all the shooting going on? There he is. Oh! Boy, this di- <laughs> What? <laughs> See what these guys got. Let's see what you got. Okay. Wolf meat. Is that that ram? Okay, there's another one. <clears throat> oh, what were you eating? And another one over here.
Come on. Let's get this over with. All right. All right. Oh, I already know where that's at. <clears throat> yep. So that is... Uh, over here. Okay. Come on. How good are you with iron? I bet you can't beat Ira Shelton in shooting. I'll bet you money. Sure. I always enjoy putting a man in his place. I won. Ain't that something? All right, here's your winnings. Nice. I always found these little challenges in Red Dead Redemption 2 to be a little bit annoying, but they definitely help with your XP and those sorts of things. And money. Just made a little bit of money. Okay, so this is our location. And it shows in between these rocks. I'm just going to see if I can find it. On foot. I think it's connected to... At least I thought it was. Hmm. There it is. Do we get another map? I don't remember. Perhaps there is a god. Hey. Gold bar and a map. Rhodes gold. Treasure hunter rank 2. Okay. Let's uh let's take a look at our map. Ooh. Rio de Lobo. Campsite. Okay. Yeah, I think I know where that's at. I think it's um Oh, yeah, I do know where that's at. That is <clears throat> down here or over here. There's the train again. All right, now what was I? Marshall, we're going to do the Marshall again. He's right there.
And also, does this show $88? Oops. Let's go see the marshal again. Get back here. Why do I hear shooting again? <laughs> Don't shoot the law, man. Just doing our job, and we thank you for it. Just doing my bit for society, fellas. That's right. Nice. You gotta act quick in these situations, and don't shoot the law, man. I doubt you'll be needing this. Four dollars. All right. You gotta act fast. Assess the situation. Don't get a wanted level. Wait, there's another, uh, there's more wild fever for you. I'm gonna go get that. Ah, here we are. Here we are. I seen an armadillo too. I'm telling you, this horse. Hey! Get back here. Yeah! Oh, I ain't doing that right now. Um. Oh no! Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 7. Justice in Pike's Basin. I know what this is. Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. Yeah, if it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon spying, like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it mm. was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them look like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's going to hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right. True. Let's go. You ride with <clears throat> us again, Marson? Will you help me? Let's go. I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. All right. <coughs> How long you been working for the government, Marston? Come on, Marston. Let's go. I don't want to lose those rustlers. Let's go. We need to stick together, boy. Them rustlers might be waiting for us. I'll be honest with you, Marston. I ain't for all this government interference. Me Believe either. Me, Marshal. Neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Yep, now I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, taming a wild land, bringing modernization and betterments to the West. It's only made the rich richer and the poor poorer, and it's killed a way of life. Building a factory over a field ain't gonna help nobody I know. Look at what they've done to the natives for God knows how many years now. It's hardly like they're going to suddenly start respecting a man's right to work his land. Right. That's different. 
They're savages. It ain't that different, Jonah. Yeah. Are you sure where's the Bollard twins, Eli? Sure as shit. I'd know those boys any place. Are these the same rustlers who've been causing the McFarland so much trouble? Nearly there. No answer? Alright boys, let's proceed on foot from here. Alright. Head for the fork! Be ready boys, we're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. We'll smoke them. What is it? Hey, was your problem, Marston? All right. Look out! Rush the guard! Gun him down! Help me out here, will you? No more. I can't stand up without a reading, boy. Let's split up. You take the left, boys. I'll go right. Marston, you can go with the deputies or cover me. All right, let's go. Sweet mother of God. Don't think you'll be wanting this no more, friend. Can I loop? All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm trying. Eyes up, boy! Behind that rock! Oh! Oh! oh. Reload. My God. Look, the deputies are making progress. Okay. Son of a bitch. Watch out. More of the bastards. Whoop. Whoop. Good shooting, boy. Come on, let's clear out that camp. Watch yourself. Headshot.com. Pretty good. Okay. Come on, pull foot, Marston. I'm trying. Put down your guns and surrender. You got one. Oops. You got a problem with me? Nice shot. for the vultures that's right Oops. headshot.com can I loot Sorry, there we partner. go chest oh Nice. Loot. <clears throat> Other side. Let's go, Marston. We got to move it. Some good cash. Okay, I guess that's good. Come on, stop lagging behind. Keep your eyes open. I saw a couple of snipers across the way. Look out, there are them snipers. Damn you. 
Nope. What I was trying to do. Oh. Get those thieving bastards. No, 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 no. Where is he? Over there. Come on. Pull foot, Marston. Trying. Are you going to shoot any of these rustlers, boy? Where's that other guy? Let's push on. It sounds like the deputies could use a hand. Oh, bird. Let's go! He gets stuck on everything. Christ alive! Hang in there! Come on, John. Okay. Controls are really clunky. This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. Let's try to sneak up on them. The closer we are, the less chance they have of making a run for it. Sneaky. Sneaky McSneakerson. What are we doing? Okay, there's three of them. What's he doing? Oh, out, John. I got a loot, dude. Stop that! Oh! <laughs> Let's get as close as we can before opening fire. All right. <clears throat> Let's try it again. Anybody left? There's a dude somewhere. You might as well give it up now. Come on, Marston. I can't take them all yeah, by myself. Me. <laughs> Let them do all Thanks, the, the heavy lifting. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. 
All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what That's I That's right. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. Wes Dickens. Wes Dickens? He's missing. Who? Mr. Wes Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. That's right. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. Well, let's see what I can loot. Making some money. We got a chest. What else do we have? There's another chest. Eleven dollars. Eleven doll hairs. Oh, there's some explosives. Would have been nice to see that earlier. Another chest. Eleven dollars. Did I get this guy? No. Four dollars. Four dollars. So, is that all? I don't think we can loot the horses. Horse is a little sticky. Come on. Are you kidding? There we go. All right. Where's Wes Dickens? Oh my gosh, he's all the way down there. Well, let's go get him. Man, that's touchy. Hang on. Every little bit counts early on. Five doll hairs.
That was close. I was almost a goner. All right, let's see. Did he kill the guy? Or I killed him, I don't know which. There he is. Old Swinder Excuse me. Swindler Blues. Excuse me, sir. You need help? <laughs> Mister, you alive? Fuck, fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor, or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. St. Peter, open up them pearly gates! I'm coming home! <laughs> Come on, Always mister. so dramatic. Come on! <clears throat> Hurry, sir! I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog! You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. Great. I have to drive I'm and shoot. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? Head for armadillo, friend. Oh boy, here we go. What is your name, friend? John Morrison. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse How me? How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The baller twin Walton's gang! I know who you are! Word sure travels fast around here. They're back! I'm done for! For now. There's still hope. What the hell Let's happened? Let's go. Bandits, hoodlums, the scoundrels brought me blind and left me to die. I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. They seem a man in a well-cut suit if this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do now. I give so much and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. Our maker is a funny sense of humor sometimes. Oh. Still, at least I met you, a good Samaritan in wolf's clothes. And forgive me, pain is wolf's playing clothes. rare habit with my metaphors. How many of these hookers are there? You're killing me! Kidding? I knew you. Wow. What? I knew was this it ten times? Time. He has oh a boy. Great purpose for me. Is that Armadillo? Come on, hurry! <laughs> Little off-roading. Oh, the steering. Thanks, man. You're gonna be fine. We're Take nearly there. Me into your arms. We're here. Stay with me. Oh, oh that wasn't too we? bad. Armadillo. 
You made it safe, you'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming we'll see. You, I doubt that means much, but right? I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your That's man all right. For, I'll just take your wagon. For, let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Wounds will take some time to heal. While you're waiting, you could further explore New Austin. Quick. Go get along fine here, son. I get gone. We all need help, mister. Four dollars. Hold on. Is there anybody to Nope, I'm getting out of here. And the trick to running with these horses without running out of stamina is just to tap a couple of times or three times and wait. And you'll never run out of stamina. Alright, where's my place? There it is. We'll go save there real quick. Looks like we have a patrol mission. We'll get that the next time. Let's hitch. We'll go in and save. So that's where I'm going to end it for this time of Red Dead Redemption 1. Get some ammo. Okay. And uh, what was the outfits there? That's a nice healthy stride you have, sir. What do I have? I know there's another one. Uh, gentleman's attire. Wearing this high class attire allows you to enter poker. So I do have that one. I have Marston. Gentleman's attire. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Bollard twins. Looks like treasure hunter. That's it. Okay, so let's save, and like I said, I'm going to leave it right here for now, and we'll be back with more Red Dead Redemption 1 later. So I'll see you in the next one.